how can we set up a custom background color for Affinity Designer document? By default, when you create your document, you will get this stock white color. We can actually switch off the color completely if you want to work with transparent backdrop. If you hit your document setup at the top, you can go to colors and there's option for transparent background here. Just click it, OK, and you will see this very familiar checkerboard indicating transparency. So if you plan to export your clips without backdrop, that's actually a nice way to keep everything nicely from very beginning without any backdrop color. But in our case, we want to just change this color. So let's go back here and keep a color. By default is the white color. Of course, we could add what we call a container, right? So I can draw a simple shape, fill this shape with any color I like, stretch this to match the document size and then lock this layer this rectangle and use this as the backdrop. So now it's locked, I cannot select that. So it's a perfectly fine way of setting some kind of backdrop color. And in this case, we can also make it as a gradient easily using the gradient tool. Right, so we got gradient now, we can adjust this gradient color, we can even add a bit of nice noise to it, we can in the live preview, see exactly how the gradient will be. We don't need to guess, like in so Adobe products. All right. And this can be our backdrop. And again, don't forget to log this. All right, that's method number one. What's the second method? The second method is to unlock your artboard. So let me just delete this rectangle. Second tool on the list on the left is artboard tool. Normally, we use this tool to add additional pages to a document. But when you click this for the first time, you are not going to add page yet. You simply unlock the page number one, the one we already got here. So I click Insert Artboard. I did not insert anything, but now my artboard is clickable. So I can click on the artboard. The artboard also show in the layer panel and I can now select the color for this artboard. So that's actually the main way how you can change the background color. First, you need to go to Artboard tool, unlock the Artboard and then select the Artboard by clicking on its name and select the new color for it from the color panel here. If you click Insert Artboard again, you will get Artboard number two next to it. You will have second page, and then you can add third page, etc. But even you plan to have only one page, if you unlock the Artboard with this tool, you can from now on adjust the backdrop color for it. All right, so here it is. There are three main ways. We can get rid of the color by turning on transparency in document setup. We can use a container shape like rectangle to set that this rectangle as the backdrop or as the local backdrop, maybe covering only half of your document. This way you can have two colors. And the last method is to use the artboard tool to unlock your artboard, so then you can put any color in it. Artboard is just a glorified shape, but you need to unlock it first with the inset artboard. All right, I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next tutorial.